it's another year of our annual GIS Heritage School Tour. And the theme for this year's celebration is Our Heritage, A Great Legacy. And this is Jamaica's Legacy. So the JIS team once again packed our bags, loaded our bus, and journeyed further into the country to spread cultural awareness with some budding minds. Our first stop, the county of Middlesex, into the island's third largest parish. Tell us one thing you learned from the feature a while ago. Jamaica gained independence on August the 6th, 1962. The Rio Mina is the longest river in Clarendon. Kingston Harbor is the seventh largest in the world. Now that's how some of the students' memory and knowledge of our local culture was tested after the GIS team engaged them with a short video on our heritage. And the reward? A significant piece of our culture, their very own Jamaican flag. The talents of some of the students at Hazard Primary were then unveiled with an achieved aim of evoking or patriotism. Drop them two by two. Let's get together and feel alright. Mila Jaka Fiti Mango Time. Mango Time. Kiero Nice It Baby Mango Time. We left them with some significant research material on our history. On behalf of the Cultural Club and Hazard Primary School, I'd like to thank the JIS for coming here and sharing with us today about culture around Jamaica, sharing important facts, interesting facts with you. After saying our goodbyes at Hazard Primary, we journeyed further into the parish, stopping at the very technical high school. And the festivities continued with soothing entertainment from the Vertech Choir. Clarendon had more to offer from the little ones at the Rosewell Primary School. I am very well, I'm very well, thank you. Good morning, teachers. Let me big up Jamaica. But just before our visit ended, the students were encouraged to participate in the annual JIS Heritage Competition. Imagine that you are one of the seven national heroes, right? It says that you are to make your case for Jamaica to be compensated for slavery. Sidebar, applications are now closed and the team back in office are busy judging the many submissions from bright primary, secondary and tertiary students. Back to the Rosewell crew. St. Anne also had more than enough excitement and cultural offerings for us. First up, Prairie Primary and Infant School. And it was obvious that our presents and gift were much appreciated. I learned a lot from this, from this day and I would like to thank you very much. Wait, we're not quite finished with St. Anne yet. And as customary, we gave them a piece of our heritage, right from the Jazz Publications Department. Our heritage school tour then took us to the Bread Basket Parish. Here's what Aberdeen High School had planned for us. Please, give it up for the conscience. Go, I look here. I read it. Conscience, you know? You must be set to watch it.
Our taste buds were also satisfied with some traditional Jamaican foods, and we traveled back in time to experience some old but efficient practices. Time flies when you're having fun, but we couldn't let it fly away without experiencing more of what this parish has to offer. The tour was winding down, but not without a bang. Portland was next and the students of Windsor Castle Primary and Infant School served up an enticing treat. And of course, we followed suit. Welcome to Windsor Castle Primary and Infant School. You're watching the Maker Magazine. And after that rich display of culture, this is Brinlane and all the students and staff of Windsor Castle Primary who want to hand over this package to you of some of our posters and books, information that we have on the Jamaican history and Jamaican culture. And that's all we have for you from this year's Jazz Heritage School Tour. Watch out for us again next year when we do this all again. Who knows? Your school might just be on our list.